These are the controls in your MCR2 machine. So the ignition key is here. You can start the engine by turning the ignition key all the way around, or you can use the start stop button. There's three modes. There's the park mode, which isolates the controls out and not working, but the engine can be running. Then you have the excavator mode, and then you have the skid steer mode. You'll notice the picture changes on the screen. You can't start the machine when it's in skid steer mode. So you need to be in excavator mode. Then you can press the start stop button to start and stop the engine. Ignition key to turn off the machine. You need to make sure you turn the key off if you're walking away from the machine, otherwise the electric components can run the battery flat. This is your aircon controls. If you're running it cold, make sure you're all the way to the cold button. If you have any of the hot on, it'll still allow some hot air. This is the menu page. So in the menu page, we have a few different options. Firstly, we can adjust the idle speed. So the auto idle is a feature that's adjustable. So you can set the time to whatever suits you. This is an alarm for lifting strength. You can turn that on and off. Here's the warning uh, alarms, so codes. First, that computer chip is just serial numbers. You don't need that. You need the page of the, with the triangle on it. That's where the codes will be shown. You can exit back. The next one's the settings, so you can adjust the clock. You can adjust the units such as gallons per minute or liters per minute, and you can adjust the brightness of the screen in here. This is the auxiliary flow adjustments, so you can set up multiple auxiliary attachments. We have a specific video for this. If you press the camera button, it will put the rear view camera on the screen. You press it again to take it off. This is your auto idle, turning it on and off. Here we have the wipers and the washer buttons, the work lights, front, rear, front and rear working together. That's a continuous flow switch. So when you're running the machine and the auxiliary, you can press the button and it'll hold the auxiliary hydraulics on, press it again to turn it off. You can see on the screen here, we're adjusting the flow. If you need to um, change the direction that the continuous flow switch is working, you go in and change the direction in there. For cruise control on the tracks, you press that top right button and you can see that the when you press the knob down, you can see that it changes from uh, grey to yellow. So you press down on the knob and then you turn the knob to adjust what the speed is. Then you press the knob again to save it. To have maximum speed again, you just turn it off. This is your blade lever. This button is your main button for switching between the modes for the boom. And we have a specific video for that. Auxiliary, first auxiliary flows on that top slide switch and the horn is underneath on the finger button. This is your radio, which is Bluetooth to your phone. This is your hitch switch. So you hold that down to retract the, the hitch and it'll go out automatically. This is an alarm Cancel button, hold it down for three seconds. It'll stop the hitch alarming at you. This is a bucket inversion switch. So you switch between whether the bucket curls towards you or curls away. This is the coupling mode switch. When it's towards the dock, it's in manual mode. And when it's towards the excavator boom, it's in automatic coupling mode. We have a specific video for this. On the left joystick, you have your slide switch on the other joystick, not the joystick we're showing now. You have your slide switch for the second auxiliary on the top. And then you have your offset boom button to switch between offset boom and second auxiliary just below the slide switch and on the underside on your trigger finger that's where the uh, two-speed tracking button is.